Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. I've got Jasper crying in the background. What's wrong, Jas? What? Come on then, come on. You want to come up? Gone quiet. I don't know what the energy's like. I was extremely poorly last night. I was actually on a Skype call and had to really rush off the Skype call so that I could be sick. What was I sick? What was I sick? Orange juice. Seriously. It's like, okay, well, I can't be sick, love, can I? I'm talking about the orange analogy that Wayne Dyer gives. If you cut an orange in half or if you squeeze an orange, what comes out of it? Orange juice. So when you squeeze us, what comes out? I want it to be love. Well, orange juice came out of me last night. <clears throat> I'd eaten an orange before my Skype call. And then I had a cracking, pounding headache. And then I became extremely hot. Extremely, the body temperature was extremely hot. And then sickness came over me. So I didn't have to cut the Skype call short. We was already over time. So I don't feel bad, but I am sorry. I know you'll be watching. I am sorry. I'm absolutely fine. I've got an early night. I've been in and out of sleep for about 13 hours. The belly's rumbling. She's going to wait to eat, though. We're going to have bananas and yoghurt, just not yet. So if you hear her growl, if you hear her growl, she's just a little bit poorly. So, um, all good. I'm okay this morning, but I'm going to take it easy. I still feel a little hot. It's 11.55. I still feel a little hot. I've just been outside to recycle the air, taking some long, deep breaths so that we can recycle whatever's going on inside of me. That's what I felt like it was. It was a purge. It may have had something to do with the Skype call. Um, it was interesting, actually, because before I'd done the Skype call, my head was a little bit... I thought, I'm not cancelling this. Normally, it helps to shift it. And I was um, thinking to myself, I didn't say this to the person, though, but I was thinking to myself, are you going to help me clear my headache? And it's like, well, you helped clear it a lot. So it felt like a big purge that came out of me last night. So we are a little tender this morning. Are we recording? We're a little tender. Love me tender, love me true. Never let me go. I don't know the words, but um, okay, I'm gonna look into the feminine's energy and the masculine's energy. Apparently, feminine, you're going first. We've got the Druid Craft Tarot to have a look at the Divine Masculine's energy. Divine Feminine, we're going to use the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. I rarely use these cards. They're very feminine orientated. I, I did count once upon a time. There's under 20 cards. There's 78 cards in a tarot deck. Um, there's under 20 cards that have a masculine figure on them. So I thought that would be good to see where we are. Chakra Wisdom Tarot. I feel like I haven't used these for a while. And then I've got some affirmators out and some law of attraction cards. Oh, and a uh, sacred spirit card. Ride away cards if I want to clarify. Happy Saturday, guys. I hope you're all doing fine. Fine and dandy. I hope you're all fine and dandy. Okay. Let's clear this energy. And the thing is, I was going to be recording well, quite a while ago, about half an hour ago, and then I hear movements, and it's like, I let the guys do what they want to do. But I'd realised I hadn't spoken. And, um, like, since I went to bed, which was about half past nine last night. So I was, I was going, la, 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 la. <laughs> la, 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 la. It's like, okay, <clears throat> let's get the voice ready. You're the voice trying to understand it. Make a noise and make it clear. Whoa. John Farmer. Okay, talk about farmers has been coming up quite a bit. John Farmer. Okay, it's mine coming in. Let's pull some cards. Let's pull a Chakra Wisdom Oracle card. The Complete Spiritual Toolkit for Transforming Your Life. Okay. And we have the accompanying tarot deck to go with this. Okay. By the same author. Okay, we can't take all those, can we? 
Half a deck, half a deck. Well, that's very masculine energy. Seeing as there's a tuxedo on there. Isolation. Mm. We're getting ready for the bowl. Let me just rest my elbow. <laughs> so we have blue here. He has a nice tuxedo in his wardrobe hanging up. Don't go on about having a blue Christmas. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. Well, this isolation. Isolation or quarantine? What is it? Are we just isolating ourselves? Are we using current world affairs as an excuse? I don't feel I'm talking to you, Divine Feminine. Sorry. <laughs> Masculines have um, sneaked in. Okay, it's mine feminine. Let's have a look and see what cards want to come out. It's a strong possibility they will be feminines, as I've stated. But most of the cards are feminine. We've got three on here. Three of coins. That's nice, working in partnership with each other, divine feminines. You're adding the finishing touches. Up the ladder, look how high up you are. I feel that's the portal here. So Divine Feminines, you can really see you're ready. You just need to do our nails maybe first. <laughs> do them later. Um, finishing touches here. Divine Feminines, you look like you're ready. You all look stunning. Sunshiny disposition. You look very sunshiny. All this yellow. You've all got different flowers in your hair. And then we have the eight of coins. This is really interesting. So as you can see here, finishing, finishing, the finishing touches. <clears throat> finishing off, I was going to say, finishing touches. Eight of coins, this one coin's being slotted into place. The four of coins with the four of coins is about building firm foundations, so isolation. The masculine's here looking at his tuxedo. He could be aligned. You just need to, there's something you need to do, slot into place. If something's going to slot into place, I feel that you'll know what it's going to be. Because you're ascended. Even though this is the card of like things in the physical needing doing, uh, I feel like the message you'll actually receive, you're going to know what, what it is that needs to be put into position. Okay. I'll try and find out what that is. Um, Ellie's mumbling. The Wheel of Fortune. And all I keep seeing is this coin. Okay, so pay attention because they're pointing out with this paintbrush here. Is that a paintbrush she's got? It is. There's a paintbrush. All the feminines are ready to add their final touch to this project. Sun's come out. You can see the coin here being slotted into place. Now, I believe this is something that we all have to do individually, even though we're working as a collective. Um, it's from the root chakra. So it's about taking care of your foundations, your stability. One coin. Looks like it's gone a bit blue. And then we have the, well, I'd say it is from the heart chakra because it's green. Um, but it is a major arcana, the Wheel of Fortune. Look at all these things spinning around, but again, it's that coin. Now it looks like a vortex there, or the portal.
let's see if we can find out a little bit more uh, before I will read. I will do some reading. Um, yeah, let's use the right away teller. Let's clarify this. First of all, let's have a look and see what this isolation card is here because it's masculine unless you're planning on wearing a tuxedo. You can do if you like, if that's your style. But I feel there's a very much masculine energy here in isolation. Let's read that first. <clears throat> Chapter 5, Blue. Find your way of expressing yourself. Sapphire's blue. I've got all I could ever need right here. The legend. Sapphire is blue. Occasionally, he gets invited somewhere, but invariably, he turns the invita invitation down. After all, what would he wear? He bought a tux once, just in case, but won't wear it because he might spill something on it. Besides, going out would, would alter his routine. He's, he's tried to meet people, but hasn't met anyone of his calibre. So Sapphire stays home alone and remains quite blue. Inspiration. Do not wait for the right time to live your life. You are on the verge of something big. But if you don't participate, it could pass you by. Now, Divine Feminines, we've got plans. Plans to travel. Plans to have meetups. Plans to kind of... Well, it's that three of coins working in conjunction with one another and the masculines are here and it's like don't wait don't wait to um, live your life do not wait for the right time to live your life you are on the verge of something big but if you don't participate it could pass you by personal inquiry sapphire does not know the difference between isolation and solitude do i or do you? Key ideas, self-protection, making excuses, over-preparing and never feeling ready to take action. Keyword, celebration, experiences and play. So we can see where the masculines are as the feminines are very much aligned. I do feel you are aligned enough divine masculine. You don't need to wait around anymore to live your life. The divine feminines have done so much prepping, planning, not only um, within themselves, to prepare themselves for a divine masculine, for their divine masculine, but also they have the ideas, the inspiration, um, their plans are rooted quite deeply now, as in when it comes to purpose. The meditation. Think of something that you have been putting off. A vacation, calling a friend, painting the house. Close your eyes and imagine yourself totally involved in the activity. Divine Feminines, I believe this is for you. This is your reading, okay? So this is for you because there's something that you've been putting off that needs to be put into place now. So think of something that you have been putting off. A vacation, calling a friend, painting the house. That one just shouted out, painting the house. I've been doing that. Touch-up jobs. Close your eyes and imagine yourself totally involved in the activity. Come back when you are ready. Now taking action will be that much simpler. Bendy. Got to eat first. Remember to eat. My daughter just said that to me. Remember to have something to eat. I said we are going to eat. We're going to have banana and yoghurt. Just not yet. Three of coins. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I'm seeing if we're checking on the masculine here. Queen of wands. Something's ready to bloom. Oh. Okay, I'm clarifying the isolation. Interesting. Something's ready to bloom. Something's ready to blue. To blue. We got the blues, clues, blues, clues. You gotta find another paw print, and that's the second clue. Pull it in your notebook, you know just what to do. You got the blues clues. Okay. 
Queen of Wands, King of Swords, Divine Feminine, the Divine Masculine, he's kind of, I don't know, he looks stern here. He's like going, you know what to do. Okay, work your magic. That's it, family. Okay. So let's look at this three of coins. Apparently you're reading before we pull the rider weight. Three of coins, where's the little book? The card of creative study. The master artist plan is well thought out and in action. Like I just said, divine feminines. Plans are quite rooted. We're not quite sure where it's taking us, but we know that we're going we're going places. I feel like I've come over all hot. Okay. Of the two woman, woman, of the two women waiting, one is wearing a yellow headdress, indicating that her plan is solid and ready. The final woman wears a red orange headdress, so perhaps she is still uncertain in her creative endeavours. Which one are you? Okay. So it doesn't speak anything about the lady who's actually adding that final touch there. It speaks about the two that are waiting. So the master artist plan is well thought out and in action. So that must be the one who is there at the top, the master artist. Of the two women waiting, one is wearing a yellow headdress, indicating that her plan is solid and ready. The final woman wears a red orange headdress, so perhaps she is still uncertain in her creative endeavours. Which one are you? The chakra message, wait your turn, get more training, no, you can do better. This card may indicate a worthwhile collaboration. The indication, if what you desire has been done before, then the path forward exists for you too. The key words, plans, growth, mentorship, dedication, promotion and craftsmanship. The meditation is, ask your guides if there is something that must be completed before you can move on doesn't say move on, it says move forward. But it's kind of cool, it's kind of what I picked up on. So ask your guides if there is something that must be completed before you can move forward and take time to allow them to speak. Your contemplation is look honestly at where you are now in your creative focus. When you do, you will know your next steps. Well, let's have a look what the Rider Wayne would like to say. Be something like your health, your eating habits, your no. Ask divine. Is there something that needs to be completed before you can move forward? Let's see what um, divine wants to say about that. <laughs> Masculine's here again, guys, waiting to offer. It's interesting because he's got. Unless you're needing to move, I felt I felt like she was slotting that in though. And one, I was wondering then if actually she needs to move that out of the way because the masculine is going to be slotting in. Have you made room? Is there room for your masculine in your life? I'm actually clarifying this. He's got the coin. He knows that you know what it is that needs to be done. Should we get another card? Nice and yellow, look. They call it mellow yellow. Right, so now we have the four of pentacles, which I picked up here, saying it could be the masculine who he is quite sturdy. And even though you would kind of think that he's holding on, well, he is. Um... But the card of Four of Pentacles doesn't always mean that you're holding on to things too tightly. It means actually firm foundations. Now, interesting that, okay, it looks like he's he's stable. He's managing to balance a, um, let me just put that card down. 
about that's what I spoke about was the roots your plans because the masculine doesn't have a residence do you have room for your masculine is there any room at the end share a single bed <laughs> It's always room. It's always room. I was going to say, oh, belly, there's always room for one more. And that's with anything. Don't ever take anything as being a sellout or um, fully booked. Clo not well closed. You might not have much. I don't think you can get a place to open up. But you most definitely, there's definitely enough room. I would say not just for one, but you can always squeeze in more people. Or Always happens. When I... Well, it's normally when my daughter wants to go to a concert. No, I've done this with Bruno Mars as well. People think you've got to buy your tickets like dead early. They're really expensive. You can book them like three days before. There will be a seat available. Nothing's ever a sellout. They tell you it's a sellout and then you don't bother. Okay, well. <clears throat> Let's have a look at this card then. The, the Eight of Coins, because I picked up that maybe the Divine Masculine is actually stable. He's just isolating, or is it solitude? Let's read what the Eight of Coins wants to say. The Eight of Coins, the card of the missing element. She has returned to finish what she perceived as work left undone. As a revisitation of the root chakra, could a step back be necessary for completion? The chakra message. Delays in the past were related to fear in completion. This is not the same. You are relating to the original issue in a new way, which will create a different outcome. What you will gain is more meaningful now. Wow. Indication. Take pride in your work. Create something to be proud of. A lasting result. The keywords are specialist, painstaking diligence, reputation, professionalism, liberation, freedom and grace. The meditation is step forward and examine your coin. Look closely at it. This is the final piece of your masterpiece. What do you feel as you admire it? This feeling will offer you a vital clue to your next step. I feel it's your home guys. How welcoming is your home? Are you prepared for that knock on the door? For that surprise visit? For an unexpected visitor? I feel that's the key. Have a look at your own surroundings. Okay. Let's have a look at what the Rider Waite wants to say. I believe I read all of that. No, I didn't. We've got contemplation. Okay, belly. You've got food in the cupboards. <laughs> Choose freedom at the end of this road. Pre prepare for a new journey. Okay. So I feel there's a bit of a coming together here, guys. Might have been something that you've been waiting for for a long, long time. So you might have... You might not be as prepared as what you think you are. If it was just that. It's what you're wanting to happen. So are you prepared? Eight of coins. Let's have a look. The magician. Okay, so you you will be told what this is. You will also be assisted. It won't feel like a chore. Okay? You're going to get pleasure out of putting the finishing touches onto your property. That's what's coming up. What's yours? Take care of what's yours. The magician. So the magician has all the tools on the table. Why is the divine masculine here? Okay. <clears throat> I feel it's you preparing. Things are changing. Not only are you going to be directed, <clears throat> the divine masculine is being asked to deliver as well. The next card is um, the Wheel of Fortune, and you can see the Divine Feminine, you have the Magician's Tools here. 
you're working your magic. And that's what the Divine Masculine said at the beginning. Can you just work your magic, please? I'm not sure what's going on with the Divine Masculine. We're going to find out. But he's needing you to work your mass your your massage. <laughs> he might need a massage. Do you have the facilities? Have you got clean towels? Is your bed being clean? Clean and clear. <laughs> so one can lay down for a massage. <laughs> it's my masculine's there. Now the magician's pointing to the fish. The fish found his neck. We picked up on that yesterday. It feels like, you know, when a fish would jump out of his bowl. Escaped from his uh, fish bowl. And round and round and round. Well, what's going round and round here, Divine Feminine? You need to work your magic. Okay. With the help of the Divine, because if you have a look, the Magician's Wand here, it looks like that's what you're twirling around. And that's really directing, I'm still feeling it's not really anything to do with your mental stability, but obviously keep that in check. Your love, okay, so don't go spilling. Don't go spilling what? It, was, it felt like your the reserves that you have inside, don't go spilling them carelessly. And then it's that coin. It's that coin. So the Wheel of Fortune, let's have a read of Destiny. Major Arcana, but it seems to be coming from the Heart Chakra. Uh, card number 10. The Fool discovers that Destiny requires timing. Now the Fool will be you, Divine Feminine. The Fool is now using all the tools the mag Magician gave her. Don't worry, they've given the Divine Masculine some as well. Well, they've given him that coin. He has the coin. That's what I can't work out. He has the coin. I believe you have to make room. The Fool is now using all the tools the Magician gave her. She is summoning the forces of the universe to manifest only what is true in her, in her heart. We have all the tools we need to create that which we choose. The fourth chakra message, in this fourth chakra card, the fool is using her feminine power and compassion she learns from the empress. Now the empress, I would say, would be the master artist here. All that studying, it's time to put it all into action. Like the fool, you too can now summon all the tools you need to create your heart's joy at will. Will you manifest your own destiny? Will you summon the tools of the magician? Indication, knowing we all have everything we need to open our heart to our true desires, we are then no better or worse than anyone else. Will you step forward and summon what your heart craves? Keywords, compassion, surprises, development, possibilities, unforeseen events and destiny. Okay, the planet is Venus. A conjunct energy. When Venus syncs up within your birth chart, it creates a conjunction or doubled energy. You experience a heightened sense of desire and are more determined to create your intention. Energy is intense and powerful. Use it. Define what you enjoy now. The meditation. Look, look at how far the fall has come. She reminds you that the heart knows the path. It is by summoning the truth from our darkness that we can make requests from the heavens. Think about what you will summon from the ether. What does your heart truly really crave? The next steps. Truth of your heart is when you are willing to be open to what you really desire, not what looks good on paper or on cards. It's coming. You've been manifesting it. Time to get ready. Finishing touches, guys. The right thing will happen as depicted in the fifth chakra card of justice. When did we see justice? Yesterday, wasn't it? Okay, so you've been warned. There could be unforeseen events taking place here. 
Rider Waite. It started with a kiss. <laughs> Never thought it would come to this. You don't remember me, do you? You don't remember me, do you? Oh, the Divine Feminine remembers you, Divine Masculine. It's whether or not she's, she's remembering now what it is that she's been manifesting. Okay. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine together with the strength. What are you summoning? You've got the Magician tools, Divine Feminine. Look at this healing energy. It's like the Divine Masculine comes to you. Just like you were called a pussycat. And um, his towers between his legs. And this is such a healing energy here. So Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine asks you again. <clears throat> Can you work your magic? Now if I show you here. Let me show you. Oh. If you can see here, the Queen of Wands this starts the reading here. And ends with the, the King of Wands. Wands. The King of Wands. <clears throat> he's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting, he wants to come in from out of the cold, is there any room at the inn? Always. So I want to actually say, it's like don't shut your Divine Masculine out in the cold now. It's got something to do with that, that love that's spilling. It's like you're kind of, I don't know whether you're giving up hope. So things have dropped and slipped. Um, but it's like, no, it's time to pick that up now. That project that you've been, that thing that your heart really desires. So, it's not a time to leave your divine masculine out in the cold. Bottom of the, oh, we've got the hermit here. Wants to, well, he wanted to show his feet, not his nose. You can't even, yes, I can see your foot. The hermit. So I'm picking up on this warmy, sunshiny environment, disposition. Okay. Belly. Crumbly. What's the card underneath that? The two of wands. This is partial success, guys. It's interesting he's holding the wand here. He has been given the wand as well. Let's see, it's a double-ended wand that the magician's holding. And seeing as we have the strength card, you have the infinity symbol here. You know what to do, Divine Feminine. Someone wanting to travel. He's sturdy. So I I'm not sure the Divine Masculine's wavering anymore. Are you Divine Feminine? Have you lost hope on your desire? We're going to the Affirmators. Oh, I was going to look here, wasn't I? After the Affirmator. Okay. We've got two, divine timing. Everything is timing and timing is everything. Gladly, I release my concern over timing and let things happen when and as they will. I trust that the divine schedule makers know what they're doing. It can take a long time to reach divine middle management. Where they are, middle management. Take a long time. You can kind of lose a little bit of hope. You may not be as prepared as maybe you once was. You are more prepared internally to handle this connection. It's just the physical. You need to have a look at your home. Forgiveness. This is about not leaving your divine masculine out in the cold. Divine Feminine, congratulations. You've been given one of the most powerful superpowers there is. Forgiveness. Imagine that you've been bitten by a radioactive um, forgiver. The point is, you suddenly have the ability to forgive people for their flaws, their bad days, their unkind moments, and their mistakes. And the best thing about forgiveness 
is that you can apply it to yourself too. Have fun wielding your new power. But remember, with great forgiveness comes great inner peace. It's a bonus card. Okay. Have you forgiven your divine masculine? Have you forgiven yourself? There's no way in this world the divine masculine's energy is going to be drawn towards you if you haven't forgiven him and you're going to give him like a ball bashing as soon as you see him, talk to him. That's not what he's uh it's not what he's looking for. Temperance, divine feminine balancing out. Now we know temperance comes before reconciliation. How balanced are you? Temperance. I feel like you were the devil. <laughs> so it's like calm down. Allow this peace to wash over you. Major Arcana comes from the root chakra again. Let's uh 14. The fool as an angel. The devil as an angel. The shadow period ended with the seventh chakra card of death and now the fall opens up to personal ascension with temperance. The fall in angelic form now has wings. The energy flow between the cups calls for a mixing of elements. The first chakra message, situations that appear tempting or easy can send us hurtling back into lower vibrational energy. Here, the fool's hair is a true second chakra of orange, indicating that she is operating from her feelings, which may indicate the lack of a solid foundation. Remember, emotional confusion may indicate a need to review the prior chakra. <clears throat> Make sure that you are solid in your footing before progressing further, before progressing forward. Indication. Knowing what your goals are, allowing the right things to flow from unexpected sources. This power is massive. Will it go to your head? Will you share? The keywords, fulfilment, destiny, guiding others, replenishment and blending. The planet is sun progression. Each year our sun sign progresses one degree. If we look at the planetary influence as a parallel, this indicates the potential for you to integrate your past with who you have become. This integration is part of moving up to the next chakra and lends purpose to our past. The meditation. When personal power is not owned, it can be misused and directed in a hurtful way. Who in your life was unaware of their personal power? Your divine masculine. How did it influence you? To do it differently, own your own power and support others in doing the same. What comes forward to you here? Next steps. Feelings may play a bigger role in influencing the fool's decisions than one would have thought. In the next card, the devil, we clearly see where her feelings are taking her. And it says, is the fool seeing her shadow? says the fool holds, the fool stands holding an orange chalice, yet the surrounding yellow frames, frames, flames, yet the surrounding yellow flames indicate that she is making decisions that may burn her. Can you see that her own shadow does not reflect the image we see? Is her brain attempting to ignore this reality? Mm. But it's happening, something, something wants to happen. Will you allow it? The lips are so dry today. Just thought I'd tell you that. An update on the lips. <clears throat> okay, Divine Feminine, let's end on a Sacred Spirit reading card. Spiritual guidance for your life journey. Let's 
1233. I, ha I saw it, so I have to say it. It's 1233. One, two, three, three. Interesting because the song that was coming through was one, two, three, four, tell me that you love me more. So I feel the Divine Masculine is totally besotted. He's wondering if you actually remember him. <laughs> Uh, how could you forget the encounter with your Divine Masculine? And it's like, so Divine Feminine, it's like one, two, three, three, want to go to the four. The Divine Masculine needs to know that you love him more than what he loves him. He loves him, okay? You love him more than what he loves you. Uh, you can have that argument, can't you, about who loves the other one more. That's not a bad disagreement to have. <laughs> So let's have a look at the sacred spirit. Or oh, tell me that you love me more. Tell the divine masculine that you love him above and beyond any other. Other? Jeez. This isn't you going to the divine. I don't believe this is going. you going to the divine masculine. I feel he's coming to you. But when he does, he's wanting to hear that you love him more than any other. <laughs> Channel your knowledge, critical judgment. Card number eight. What's going on with the divine masculine's mind? There's an insecurity coming through from the divine masculine. It looks like he's seeking forgiveness. And I feel that when he comes to you, there's really, there's nothing to forgive. It's just a journey. A journey that you've also been through. Both of you have. Okay, so middle management here. Card number eight, it's an infinity symbol, it's floating above your head, Divine Feminine. You know what to do, Divine Masculine keeps telling you. You know what to do, channel your knowledge. Clear expectations and critical judgment. Automatic writing is a safe and powerful process of channeling, direct, of channeling spirit directly into writing. Like any sense or intuitive skill, it can be sharpened and improved with time and practice. I'm picking up the Divine Masculine's communication skills here. So if by chance he sends you a message and it's not up to your standard, be a little bit forgiving, yeah? Remember you've been bitten by a radioactive forgiver. It will get better in time. So automatic writing is a safe and powerful process of channeling spirit directly into writing. Like any sense or intuitive skill, it can be sharpened and improved with time and practice. More importantly, anyone can learn this skill. Without the active conscious self, the mind becomes free to instruct and navigate the individual. Automatic writing enables the channel to access higher states of consciousness and awareness. Innovation and creation is a byproduct of channeling in this way. Leonardo da Vinci, Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein were consistently inspired by the form of thought from pen to paper. If you are just beginning to open yourself to intuitive and spiritual communication, and so I feel like, because it, it stated three men, Leonardo da Vinci, Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein, who've been picking up... Um, about the writing skills of the Divine Masculine to be writing down, um, whether that's a song, poetry, okay, but the automatic writing they're doing. So I want to say, however a message comes through, um, sometimes we've written, written, that's not how you say it, it's, sometimes we've written, <laughs> sometimes we've written, um, things and not been very sure why we would write that but we've still done it in communicating or said certain things and you know that it's channeling you're not really sure at the time why you would have said that or said it in that way um so i want to say as the divine masculine's opening up to this uh this skill let's call it that he's understanding maybe some of the comments that the divine feminine may have made to him it's like he's getting a deeper understanding. 
So Leonardo da Vinci, Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein were consistently inspired by the form of thought from pen to paper. If you are just beginning to open yourself to intuitive and spiritual communication, automatic writing can act as a bridge to strengthen your mind and intuitive channel. Before undertaking such a skill, you are encouraged to keep a clear and sacred space, free of lower thought forms and energies that may cling or seek to enter an open channel door. Seek a suitable teacher. And that's why your space needs to be cleared by them. Yeah. Before undertaking such a skill, you are encouraged to keep a clear and sacred space free of lower thought forms and energies that may cling or seek to enter an open channel door and seek a suitable teacher. <clears throat> Currently, soul guidance is required. You are being asked to connect to the higher wisdom of your soul, removing ego-based barriers such as expectations, internal ridicule. Fear and control are necessary for clarity and peace of mind. Feelings of being physically, mentally or energetically blocked or stuck in areas of your life, such as employment and relationships, requires action, but you must be ready to let go of your expectations. Creating a peaceful environment to free your mind is essential now. Allowing your pen or pencil to wander on a sketch pad, forming doodles or symbols or painting or musical creation will assist in writing issues such as writer's block. So you can be practising that as well if you're drawn to Divine Feminine. I feel very much this is on the masculine side. They're being drawn to speak out through their, their words, <laughs> of course, written word. With relaxed breath, let your thoughts inspire you to create or record new information as your inner thoughts and spiritual messages are conveyed to you. Okay. With relaxed breath, I was thinking about me going out there recycling the air. So with relaxed breath, let your thoughts inspire you to create or record new information as your inner thoughts and spiritual messages are conveyed to you to record in written word. Working with high vibrations or elevated energy levels will improve this communication and length of spiritual discussion. The shadow aspect is ignoring your own advice, the inability to be objective. The sacred crystal is blue kyanite. The angel assistant, guardian angel, Harahel. Educational success, writing and productivity. The affirmation, my mind is open, I receive my soul's guidance loud and clear. And I feel that the guidance is coming from you, Divine Feminines. Very interesting. How long have we been on for? I'm not sure whether to do... We're going to do two videos. Okay, Divine Feminine. Let's end off with something else then. Um, let's see what the Mother Mary would like to say. Divine Masculine, you're having your own reading. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that straight away. Listen, don't you worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright Singing don't worry about a thing Don't you worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright Our Lady of the Dark Mysteries, interesting, seen as Temperance picked up the, the Devil card. So, card number six. Not sure if you've had this one, guys, out. Our Lady of the Dark Mysteries, I have many names and faces, but behind those names and faces, I am your loving mother, always. I come to you in light and darkness, through joy and even, my beloved, through loss and tragedy. I am always your loving mother. I am seeking you, reaching for you, calling you to me. If you can know this, then great peace and spiritual power will be yours, and you can assist me in enlightening this world from fear and distrust into a place of compassion and divine radiance unveiled. Remember me always. 
I am your loving mother always. I feel like like speaking to the masculines. They're asking whether or not do you remember me. And you're kind of saying, please remember me, I am always here. Okay. I am always your loving mother. I am, all, I am seeking you, reaching for you, calling you to me. If you can know this, then great peace and spiritual power will be yours. And you can assist me, like the Divine Masculine assist in the Divine Feminine. And you can assist me in enlightening this world from fear and distrust into a place of compassion and divine radiance unveiled. Remember me always. I am your loving mother always. It can be easier to sense the presence of the Divine Mother when she appears through her light face in compassion, gentleness and charity. It can be more challenging to accept and honour her presence through her dark face. And that will bring in the forgiveness. It's hard for the Divine Masculine to approach you when he feels your dark shadow side. Her, fa her dark face may be manifesting through death or loss, through tragedy, I can't say that word properly, trauma or crisis, through confusion or even through meeting our own inner demons of great fear, attachment or hate. Her dark face is no less loving than her face of light, no less radiant, though one may have to look through the eye of the heart to see the vivid light that may seem veiled through circumstance. If we are encountering the dark face of Mother Mary, sometimes known as the Black Madonna, we are being initiated into a very powerful and precious spiritual consciousness and we will be granted the ability to find love, healing and peace, even from the darkest of human experiences. It is the power of unconditional light that is granted by the Black Madonna, as paradoxical as that may seem. It is tremendous spiritual power that is not held back by an ego desire to only experience the pleasurable side of life denying the value or necessity also of its pain. If you are called to this path at this particular time in your life, it is because it will serve you most. The mother loves her children unconditionally and without exception. She will call you through pain when pleasure would not suffice. She calls through suffering when it will break open your heart into greater capacity for bliss and rapture. She acknowledges all that you give all that you bear in her name of love. All that you give will be returned to you, multiplied as grace and miracles. Do not turn away. The pain that you have been bearing is known by the Holy Mother and she comes to you in this oracle to tell you that not only are you acknowledged, but there is a transformative healing that is happening through your pain. She is in it with you whilst also being on the other side of this darkness with a bright light, calling you to greater divine bliss than you imagined you could ever feel. I won't be doing another reading. This one is for, this message here is for the divine masculine. So this is all we need to hear today, apparently. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Okay, but today we deal with today. We need Our Lady of the Dark Mysteries, desperately, and she knows it. This is why she will not let us go and calls us to her in increasing crisis and struggle until we pay attention. For those of us who have hearts strong enough to bear honest experiences of painful but liberating emotions such as sadness and grief, anger and rage, including divine outrage, and allow these feelings to stretch our hearts, her spiritual power comes to us, her healing balm can pour through us into the world. She will hold the container for you to feel and release emotions, even though they can be so painful that you may feel as though they are going to tear you into pieces as you feel them. This is the pain of the world that you are helping to release. She has been burned and burns, you see. Okay, she has been burned and burns, you see. She suffers just as we do. 
She is not separate from us. She is us. Listen to the birds. She is every animal that suffers. She is every animal that suffers cruelty, every human that suffers abuse, every tree that is destroyed, and every ocean animal that dies through pollution, every heart that breaks when witnessing ignorance and carelessness. You are perhaps never closer to her or more in her fierce, merciful, raw and miraculous grace than in that moment when you are howling in agony with her. This takes great courage, but Our Lady of the Dark Mysteries bestows that courage in the hearts of all her beloved children. She comes to us when we need to release our suffering. She comes to us to reassure us that we will move through this time of struggle, and she is with us always. She teaches us that our suffering is not to be held up as a badge of honour, or that we are martyrs to her cause. She has too, she has too much grace of protection for that to be. She teaches us instead that our ability to be present to our suffering, allowing it to flow through us in waves, in what empowers us to be moved by life and completely open to her. She then shares her great gift, that through our ability to be fearlessly open to life, we are not only asked to bear suffering, but we are blessed with a capacity for divine rapture. We can then taste the ecstatic intensity of life. Our Lady of the Dark Mysteries comes to you with guidance to be honest with your suffering and know that you are not alone in it. And through this, she invites you to open to her ecstatic bliss, to the divine presence in the everyday. This oracle confirms her presence is reaching out to you through any challenges that you are experiencing or have experienced, but need to make peace with instead of holding guilt or shame about those challenges. Now is your time. Pray to her to help you trust in her wisdom and receive her blessings with a courageous heart and your life will be transformed through her grace. There is nothing that she cannot do for you who are devoted to her. Goosebumps. Let's end with this healing process and affirmation. You are sitting in a quiet place with a waterfall of liquid white light sparkling before you. A large, beautiful black face slowly emerges from behind the waterfall with soot and ash smeared across it and with large, liquid black eyes that reflect the suffering of the world. This being is filled with love and compassion whilst feeling all the pain of the world. Allow your heart to send her love and this prayer spoken aloud. My beloved Black Madonna, Our Lady of the Dark Mysteries, my love and endless gratitude for your blessings, your mercy, your rage and your grace. Our Lady of Truth, Our Lady of Balance, Our Lady of Divine Justice, Our Lady of Fierce Compassion, Our Lady of Ruthless Devotion. May I serve your wisdom. May I live your wisdom with intelligence, grace and empowered devotion. Bless me, Mother. Bless the world through me. I surrender my will to your miraculous workings and ask for your help that I may serve. So be it. Allow the Black Madonna to bless you in whatever way she now chooses. She may invite you to come to her in that waterfall of sparkling white light or send you a colour or a symbolic spiritual gift. Be open to receiving that blessing without having to understand the how or even the why. Even if you don't sense the blessing happening, that is fine. It just means it is taking place at a subtle or subconscious level. When you have rested for a few moments, finish your process with this affirmation. Our Lady of the Dark Mysteries, the Black Madonna, Mother Mary, who loves the world without condition, you have the devotion of the world soul and the human heart. I offer my help to you. May I serve your wild grace. So be it. So be it. Guys, have a fantastic Saturday. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow for a Sunday service. If you'd like to take um, advantage of the combo offer, half an hour Skype call with a half hour recorded reading, 
£50, I'll put the details in the description box. You just need to email me. Okay, have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic day. As it's 59 59. Wait, isn't it? One, oh, 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 one. Let's go, Lucy. Let's go. Guys, have a fantastic day. And uh, have fantastic days from this moment forward. They're coming. Okay, guys, enjoy your Saturday. I'm going. Much love. Bye for now.